hello and welcome back so today we'll be looking at another question based on conditional trigonometric identities so here we're given a condition that the sum of three angles ABC is equal to pi radian so this pi radian is 180 degree and with the help of this condition and the left hand side of this equation we have to solve for our right hand side so first let us look at our given condition so here we are given a plus b plus c is equal to pi radian now i'm going to uh, subtract c on both sides of this equation so this gives a plus b is equal to pi radian minus c now i'm going to divide both sides of equation by 2 so this gives a plus b by 2 equals to pi radian minus c divided by 2 on further simplification, we get a by 2 plus b by 2 is equal to pi radian by 2 minus c by 2. Now, let us operate this equation first by sine and then by cos. So, on operating by sine, we have this sine a plus b by 2 equals to sine pi radian by 2 minus c by 2. And we also know that this pi radian minus 2 is equal to 90 degree and sine 90 minus theta is simply cos theta so in place of theta we have c by 2 right over here so i can write cos and then c by 2 instead of sine pi by 2 minus c by 2 now once again let me operate this equation um, by cos so cos a plus b by 2 gives cos 90 by 2 minus c by 2 and what we know that cos 90 minus theta is equal to sine theta so in in place of theta we have c by 2 so i'm going to write simply sine c by 2 so up to now we have shown this much that sine a plus b by 2 equals to cos c by 2 and cos a plus b by 2 equals to sine c by 2 now i'm going to take the left hand side so here is my left hand side of the equation now i'm going to do a simple rearrangement i'm going to bring cos c over here and then bring negative cos b to the end now I'm going to use the formula for cos c plus cos d which is equal to 2 cos c plus d by 2 dot cos c minus d by 2 but in place of c and d we have a and c so I can simply write cos c plus d by 2 is a plus c by 2 and cos c minus d by 2 is a minus and then c by 2 minus cos b I'm going to write it as it is now I'm going to change cos a plus c by 2 in terms of sine. We know that cos a plus b by 2 is equals to sine c by 2. So we can have, or we can create a similar logic here. For instead of b, I have here c. So what I have is cos a plus c by 2 is equal to sine b by 2. So I'm going to replace it by sine b by 2 dot cos a minus c by 2 it is as it is minus so for cos b i'm going to apply the formula in terms of sine we have we know that cos 2b is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared b but we have here cos b so cos b is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared b by 2 this is the sub multiple angle formula so the same formula I'm going to apply over here so here I have 1 minus 2 sine squared b by 2 2 sine b by 2 dot cos a minus c by 2 I'm going to distribute the negative sign so I have minus 1 and then minus minus plus 2 sine squared b by 2 once again from this to expression I'm going to take 2 sine b by 2 common then I have cos a minus c by 2 plus sine b by 2 and then negative 1. I'll take it to the last. Now, let's look what we can do. 2 sine b by 2, I'm going to write it as it is. And here we have cos a minus c by 2 plus and here for sine b by 2 for sine b by 2 I can write cos a plus c by 2 so here I have cos a plus c by 2 and then minus 1 I'm going to write it as it is 
once again what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the formula for cos C plus cos D. So for C, I have A minus C by 2, and instead of D, I have A plus C by 2. So I can use the formula for cos C plus cos D, which is equal to 2 cos C plus C by 2 dot cos C minus D by 2. So 2 cos C plus D by 2 is A minus C by 2 plus A plus C by 2, and then divided by 2 dot cos c minus d by 2 is c and then minus d is a plus c by 2 and then divided by 2 and finally minus 1 now just a simple simplification 2 times 2 is 4 and then I have sign d by 2 dot cos now 2 is LCM here and I can simply combine the numerator a minus C plus A plus C and then I can multiply this two here similarly what I can do here is A minus C and then minus let me distribute this negative sign and then I have minus A minus C divided by two and multiply this two and then minus one now we can get rid of positive and negative C negative A and positive A so finally we have 4 sine b by 2 dot a plus a is 2a and 2a divided by 4 is simply cos I, I have here a by 2 and negative and negative c is cos of negative 2c divided by 2 times 2 is 4 minus 1 I can get rid of 2 2 times 4 so here I have cos of negative c by 2 and what we know is cos of negative theta is simply cos theta. So by using this idea what we can do is for cos of minus c by 2 we can write cos c by 2. So this is what we have in simplification and this is the term we need as our right hand side. So we have proved this question. I hope it's clear and thanks for watching.